Welcome to this training module about Acuron GT herbicide for post-emergence plus residual weed control in glyphosate tolerant corn. Now the purpose of this training module is to provide insights into the features and benefits of Acuron GT for maximum corn yield potential through enhanced weed control. Acuron GT herbicide is a premix of the unique active ingredient by cyclopyrone, mesotrione found in Callisto herbicide, esmetolachlor found in dual magnum herbicide, and glyphosate. Acuron GT combines three sites of action and four proven active ingredients with a powerful and unique ingredient by cyclopyrone, which helps Acuron GT provide enhanced post-emergence control of yield-robbing weeds and longer-lasting residual in glyphosate-tolerant corn. Now, note that at Syngenta, bicyclopyrone is often abbreviated as BIR, so this abbreviation will be used throughout the rest of this module. Now, these photos from a Syngenta trial in Byron, Minnesota, shows the enhanced control of giant ragweed with Acuron GT compared to Halex GT herbicide and Armazon Pro herbicide plus glyphosate at 56 days after application. Although Acuron GT has received an EPA registration, check with your state for current approval status. Acuron GT is formulated as a capsule suspension, or ZC formulation, at 4.29 pounds active ingredient per gallon. This formulation is based on similar proven formulation technology found in Halex GT herbicide. The labeled use rate for Acuron GT is 3.75 pints per acre. For optimum yield protection, Syngenta recommends using Acuron GT early post-emergence before weeds reach four inches in height in a planned two-pass program, following a pre-emergence application of Lumax EZ, Lexar EZ, Bicep 2 Magnum, Bicep Light 2 Magnum, or Dual 2 Magnum herbicides. Do not use Acuron GT in a program with Acuron or Acuron Flexi herbicides. It is recommended that Acuron GT be tank mixed with Atrex 4L herbicide in non-atrazine restricted areas and include a non-ionic surfactant plus a spray grade ammonium sulfate. Labeled herbicide tank mix partners for Acuron GT include other solo atrazine products, Clarity, Distinct, Status, Peak, or other solo prosulfuron products, and solo glyphosate products. It can also be tank mixed with Besiege and Warrior II with Xeon Technology insecticides. When used at the label rate of 3.75 pints per acre, Acuron GT herbicide delivers 20 grams active ingredient per acre of BIR, 3 fluid ounces per acre of mesotrione, the active ingredient in Callisto herbicide, 1 pint per acre of esmetolachlor, the active ingredient in dual magnum herbicide, and 26.7 fluid ounces per acre of a 4.5 pound acid equivalent glyphosate formulation. Note that BIR at 20 grams active ingredient per acre is approximately the equivalent amount of BIR contained in Acuron at 3 quarts per acre or Acuron Flex C at 2.25 quarts per acre. The longer lasting residual activity of Acuron GT allows early post-emergence application before weeds reach four inches in height for optimum yield protection. But it also provides flexibility to apply up to 30 inch tall corn if needed in case of a wet spring. Now, like Halex GT, Acuron GT contains encapsulated esmetolachlor, the active ingredient found in Dual Magnum, for formulation integrity and long-term active ingredient stability, as well as proven crop safety when used according to the label. Now, let's look at the crop safety profile of Acuron GT when compared to Halex GT, both applied with and without Atrex 4L to glyphosate-tolerant corn. Although a slight increase in crop injury was observed in the Acuron GT treatments, crop injury in all treatments was less than 5% when observed 10 to 16 days after application. Let's compare the crop safety of Acuron GT with major competitor herbicides. In a 2020 university field trial, Acuron GT was compared to Resicor plus glyphosate and Harness Max plus glyphosate for crop safety at seven days after application. Researchers in this study found increased crop injury in the Resicor and Harness Max treatments when compared to Acuron GT. This data clearly shows that Acuron GT is safer on glyphosate-tolerant corn than other major competitors plus glyphosate when used according to label directions. 
This 2020 trial at Yarmouth, Iowa, compares Acuron GT to other post-emergence plus residual herbicide programs with Resicor and Harness Max. The photos to the right clearly show significant speckling and necrosis corn injury at nine days after application for the competitors compared to the Acuron GT treatment. Since we often refer to the enhanced weed control with BIR plus mesotrione found in Callisto, two active ingredients in Acuron GT, it is important to understand the individual weed control profiles of BIR and Callisto. For instance, BIR provides improved residual control of important weeds like giant ragweed, common ragweed, smartweed, and cockleburr compared to Callisto. Moving to post-emergence, BIR also provides better control of important weeds such as kochia, common ragweed, giant ragweed, and Russian thistle. It's clear that BIR and mesotrione or Callisto work together in Acuron GT to provide enhanced broader spectrum control of important yield limiting weeds. Acuron GT is also an effective tool for post-emergent control of glyphosate resistant weeds. This greenhouse study compared Acuron GT to Halex GT applied at half and full rates for the control of glyphosate resistant amaranthus species. Acuron GT at the full rate provided excellent control of glyphosate-resistant amaranthus species due to its enhanced post-emergence activity from Acuron GT's combination of BIR plus mesotrione, the active ingredient found in Callisto, compared to the Callisto alone in Halex GT. This graph shows the enhanced weed control of Acuron GT against giant ragweed and common ragweed compared to Halex GT and other post-emergence plus residual competitive herbicides when observed 52 to 72 days after treatment across six trial locations. In these trials, Acuron GT outperformed all other products by providing on average 91% control of giant and common ragweed. In this Syngenta greenhouse study, BIR plus Callisto was compared to treatments with Callisto and BIR alone in the absence of glyphosate for giant ragweed control. Now at 28 days after treatment, the BIR plus Callisto treatment provided 99% control of giant ragweed compared to 86% with Callisto alone and 85% control with BIR alone. From this data, it's clear that the combination of BIR and Callisto offers enhanced post-emergence control of giant ragweed. Now let's look at photographs from the previous greenhouse trial results showing the impact of BIR plus Callisto for post-emergent control of giant ragweed. At the full rate, BIR plus Callisto provided complete control compared to Callisto or BIR alone. Again, it's clear that the combination of BIR and Callisto offers enhanced post-emergence control of giant ragweed. Now let's view the field performance of Acuron GT for giant ragweed control. In this 2020 trial in Arlington, Wisconsin, we see the enhanced weed control of Acuron GT over Halex GT on giant ragweed under heavy weed pressure, 18 days after a post-emergence application. The Acuron GT plus Atrex 4L treatment showed greater activity on giant ragweed compared to Halex GT plus Atrex 4L, which demonstrates the post-emergence power of BIR plus Callisto in Acuron GT. Now let's look at the residual control of Acuron GT on small seeded broadleaves and grasses. In this bare ground trial, Acuron GT provided an 8% increase in residual control of annual grasses and small seeded broadleaf weeds compared to Halex GT when evaluated 42 to 56 days after application. The longer lasting residual activity of Acuron GT helps growers manage difficult weeds longer into the season, which helps fully protect yield potential and minimize the weed seed bank for next year's crop. Also, Acuron GT provides highly effective residual control of Palmer amaranth. In bare ground field trials compared to Halex GT, Acuron GT provided a 14% increase in residual control of Palmer amaranth when evaluated 42 to 56 days after application. 
The data from Bear Ground Trials proves that Acuron GT may help growers achieve almost 90% residual control of weeds six to eight weeks after post-emergence application. This is a true testament to the combined residual power of BIR, mesotrione, or Callisto, and s or dual magnum, in Acuron GT. Acuron GT was designed for yield-driven corn growers whose operations rely on post-emergence weed control. So let's look at the yield potential when Acuron GT is used to control weeds in glyphosate-tolerant corn. Acuron GT delivers enhanced post-emergence control of yield-robbing weeds and longer-lasting residual compared to any other product because it's the first and only glyphosate premix that contains bicyclopyrone, or BIR. This enables it to deliver more bushels per acre than any other post-emergence plus residual corn herbicide, including Halex GT. Across 16 head-to-head -head replicated trials in glyphosate-tolerant corn, Acuron GT outyielded other post-emergence plus residual herbicides by up to eight bushels per acre. When growers start with agronomics and a profitability goal in mind, they can better assess what practices and products will get them there. Using a residual pre-emergence herbicide is critical in a program with Acuron GT to deliver sound weed resistance management strategies and to help protect yield and profit potential. Instead of committing to a season-long deal that may limit choices, we are confident the math will show that better yield with Acuron GT is the better deal for growers. The message is simple. Acuron GT delivers more bushels per acre than any other post-emergence plus residual corn herbicide because it contains BIR, which provides enhanced control of yield-robbing weeds and longer-lasting residual. Let's review some of the key features and benefits of Acuron GT in a post-emergence plus residual corn herbicide program. Acuron GT protects yield potential due to the enhanced weed control profile of BIR plus Callisto. Acuron GT has shown increased post-emergence activity on glyphosate-resistant pigweed and ragweed species compared to Halex GT. Acuron GT has shown increased length of residual activity on pigweed compared to Halex GT. Acuron GT is a single-use rate herbicide applied at 3.75 pints per acre. Acuron GT contains four active ingredients and three sites of action for effective resistance management. Acuron GT has a wide application window, up to 30 inch tall corn if needed. Acuron GT contains formulation technology similar to Halex GT, which provides formulation integrity and proven crop safety when used according to the label. Finally, Syngenta recommends using Acuron GT in a planned two-pass program following herbicides like Lumax EZ and Lexar EZ herbicides. It is recommended that Acuron GT be tank mixed with Atrex 4L for increased weed control spectrum in areas without atrazine restrictions. Acuron GT should always be used with a non-ionic surfactant, NIS, plus a spray-grade ammonium sulfate, AMS. Do not use Acuron GT in a program with Acuron or Acuron Flexi. This concludes our training module on Acuron GT.